HBO's Secession has a number of really great economics lessons. Going to cover backward induction in game theory, which is also similar to the famous phrase by Franklin Covey, begin with the end in mind in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. My name is Matt Rosu. I am a professor of economics at Susquehanna University. I also serve as dean of the Sigmund Y School of Business. I love making economics content fun and relatable, often using pop culture, like with HBO Secession. If you enjoy this content, please click like and subscribe. It will help me out. It'll help the channel out. And let's get into today's lesson. Beginning with the end in mind is crucial in game theory in sequential games. So games that have a particular sequence, they go in order. To think through something optimally, what you end up doing is you think about where do you want to be at the end? What would be the step of the very last move? And then, okay, what would be the move at the second to last time where there's an action in the game, the third to last, and so on, all the way till you get back to the start of the game. That's called backward induction. And backward induction is useful in many strategic situations. And in secession, we actually see it happen a reasonable amount. There's one key example of backward induction we're going to go through. And Stewie attempts a hostile takeover of Waystar and gets Kendall's help. And Stewie's got a partner. Um, they get Kendall's help, and Kendall decides to announce this hostile takeover bid. And we'll put that clip on right now for you to see the reaction of Logan Roy when Kendall tells him about the takeover bid. This isn't a nice thing, I'm afraid. Yeah. Read this. What is it? It's a proposal to buy Waystar for $140 a share. We're asking you to come to the table, open the books. Uh huh. It's great value for shareholders. Uh huh. Yeah. No. Well, fine. Uh, we have the financing. Let's just see what everyone thinks. Here. No. doing? Jerry, where's Jerry? Carl. Carl is in New York, Logan. What is it? I need Jerry. I need Carl. I need... Get uh, out of there. Get out of there. Uh, Come on. Uh, what is it? Bearhug. It'll... It'll go hostile. It fits. It makes sense. Today? Oh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. It's not a good position I'm in. If they have financing and major shareholders, and I'm here, and tomorrow, by tomorrow, I need, I need a lot of things I don't have. Okay, we can see from this, right, that this was highly effective, right? Logan thinks this move was brilliant, right? He says this all makes sense, and that he's in a very, very bad spot. Well, how did they get to the bad spot, right? This is a sequential game. A takeover bid like this doesn't happen overnight. Well, backward induction certainly helped. Uh, Stewie and his main partner, they accumulate a large number of Waystar shares well in advance. And then we see in this clip right now that I'll show without the volume going on as I'm talking, um, that uh, Kendall is agreed to partner with them. So they, they had to recruit Kendall into this agreement. Kendall agrees to partner with them. That would be step two. Step three, what is the timing? And then they figure out oh, the best time to do this. Let's let Logan know when he's out of the country and he's at his daughter's 
wedding, and we see that. He's not even in the United States when he's informed about the takeover bid. Why? Well, they think the response from Logan and the company will be far less organized, which would increase the odds of success. It wasn't just the scene that we saw where Logan is taken by surprise at the end, right? There's a very deliberate sequence of events and Stewie and his partner, they thought backwards, what is going to give us the highest probability of success in this particular takeover bid? And, and really, their actions worked in terms of maximizing the probability. Now, you're watching this, I assume I didn't need to tell you a spoiler warning, but more spoilers, it didn't work. Uh, but that was some extraneous circumstances that really ended up foiling the takeover bid. It was not that it was a bad plan. It is. It was really a brilliant plan, and a lot of bad luck kept them from succeeding at the very end. But their odds of success were certainly increased dramatically, and that's really what you're looking to do, right? If something's not going to be, going to be 100%, you would like to figure out a way how can you maximize your success. Once again, my name's Matt Rozu. I am dropping new videos highlighting economic lessons from succession every Friday. So if you like this, please, um, please subscribe and click like. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.